Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann and uh, I'm really excited about this video that I'm going to be making for you guys because I'm going to be talking about the LM Hyperdex. Now as you know, Shang Chen of DIY Fish, who created the life mapping inserts, has partnered with me to create for you guys a visual time mapping system that is um, shaped like a clock so it would be more uh, it, it would be easier for you to be able to track your days and then if you have to look back on your days it would be easy to see at a glance what exactly happened on that day now um, let me just give you a little background um, I came across Shang Chen's blog more than a year ago actually almost two years ago when I was transitioning from the Midori Traveler's Notebook to a loose leaf uh, ring bound system because I the Midori really wasn't doing it for me so I was looking into options like the Filofax or the Franklin Covey or whatever else I could find and then I stumbled across her blog and then I saw her inserts and they they were so scientific and then they struck me so because I could tell at a glance that they are so well thought out and they have been tested and tested over and over again and adjusted and tweaked and adjusted again and tested again. That level of sophistication can only come with actual heavy use and constant adjustment to the need of the user. That is very evident in all of Shang Chen's um, life mapping inserts, whatever version you're on, you know that that has been given a very long and rigid test run. So even two years ago, I could see that in her inserts. But then I, I really wasn't sure what I wanted. And then I, I, I went on to, I, I used the Chronodex. It is here. Oh, sorry. These are my pages from October, and as you can see, I'm on the Chronodex. I was on the Chronodex. This was a very useless day. <laughs> the, the thing about um, radial time mapping systems is that there are, it's, it's always a circle because it should um, be um, a very familiar clock-like shape. So it's always a circle, almost always a circle. And then the, the sections of the hours are, um, are delineated from each other. And then you assign a color or a pattern to whatever activity you usually do. And then you shade in that color or pattern on the clock on the hour that you did it. So this was the chronodex. This was October for me. This is the chronodex. And the chronodex was designed by Patrick Nung. And it covers usually 12 hours of the day from from 9 to 9 but there is an option for let me show you there is an option for 5 a.m. there's a 5 a.m. here and if you if you follow the spiral if you follow the spiral outwards it will eventually give you 24 hours a day and that's where Kent of Oz uh, that's where it Kent of Oz began when he designed the spiral decks because for me it was kind of really hard to I knew that there was a, it, this has the potential for 24 hours but it was really hard for me to visualize it I mean I can't wrap my brain around it so it was hard for me to picture the spiral so I treated this as a 12 hour clock with a few bonuses over there but Kent from Oz um, did this one in an actual spiral it was very very helpful for me if I took that spiral and placed it on here I knew exactly what Patrick Nang and Kent of Oz were talking about but still I, I got so used to this and uh, it the, the spiral deck is really rather geeky I mean it's the shape of a spiral and it looks very very elegant and a lot of people like it but I got so used to the chronodex already with the 12-hour clock and then it got to the point where my days got longer because I went back to university and then I started my Etsy store and then um, all sorts of different things were happening at the office and then 
I had a couple more freelance jobs, so I, I didn't work from 9 to 9 a anymore. Uh, sometimes I would also wake up in the middle of the night and do some work, and I would also like to be able to track that. Because another advantage of having this kind of system with you is that anytime you want to look back, you're looking for what happened on a particular day, like what, what was that day in which I did this and that? If you assigned a particular color to that activity that you're tracing, then you just have to flip through your pages and then you have to look for that color and then, oh, there's that. That was on October 3rd, 2013 at 11 a.m. to 12, I was doing this. So that answers the question that you're asking of yourself if you're looking for an activity uh, that happened in the past. If you tracked it in the chronodex, it will be easy to find. But then, as I said, my days got uh, longer and life became more complicated. I needed a 24-hour clock, so I designed this. This is the Hyperdex. It's a circle that I cut out because I use the Statler um, Triple Spine Liner to shade in the, the, the hours. And they bleed through on this paper so badly. So that's why I have to cut them into circles to paste on the pages. So this is the Hyperdex. Usually when my days look like that, it's a weekend. See, that's a Sunday. It's quite predictable. And why is this like that? Oh, that's a Thursday. I was in the office, but I was also doing something else for the office. You know, things like that. You can, you can look at a particular Hyperdex circle for the day and no day is ever the same, so no hyperdex ever looks the same. And then if you're looking, if your color coding is very efficient, you can just flip through the pages and know exactly what went on in that day. Now, um, that's what I designed the hyperdex for. Now, it, I, I think it's so amusing because I was talking about the hyperdexes on one of our Facebook groups, and I was posting from my phone, and, um, I just picked out, I was looking through my, the photos on my phone and I found several old photos of the Hyperdex. I mean, they were way, way, way up in, in, the, in the photo album, so I must have taken the photo a long time ago. And then I came across a picture. It, the Hyperdexes were pictured just, just the circles, so it was that close. So the, the dates were not, I mean, let me just make that clearer for you. The dates were in, the day was not visible, even those even those uh, handwritten things around the clock wasn't visible. It was just that basically it was just that. So and then I thought that hyperdex looks so strange. But then I posted it on the comment anyway on the Facebook group. And then after I posted, I realized I know why that hyperdex looks strange. It's because See, I was at in the office until 12, 12.30 a.m. and I was studying in the office. But that's normal because, in, it, because um, there was a time when I was in that particular semester that was so difficult that, and traffic was so bad <laughs> that sometimes after work I stay on in the office instead of driving through traffic, I, ju I just stay on in the office so I could study. But then I got home at 1 o'clock and I usually just go to sleep, but I was doing personal things. What was I doing? And then I went to sleep and then I woke up at 6.30. Light blue is for sleeping. Yellow is for time spent at home. And then I left home again at 7 and then I was in the office at 7.30 and I was in the office the whole time. But see, here I was talking to people. This one I was doing personal things, which is purple red I was studying. Why was I studying during office hours in the office? That is very, very strange. And then um, I left the office at 3.30, but then I was with office people because light green is the office and anything pertaining to the office. And I have assigned the outermost circle of the hyperdex for locations and the innermost one for um, companions. Um, or or if I didn't have any companions, I just stretch out the tasks downward. The middle circle is for tasks. So if I, if I was alone, I just stretch that 
color downwards. But here, I was with office people. Why was I with office people? And then from 6.30 onwards, I was elsewhere. Uh, if I'm in Metro Manila, I'm usually at home by, you know, like 12.30 in the morning on the next day. But I was certainly not elsewhere at that particular time. And then I swam here. Dark green is for swimming. I swam for two hours with office people. Now, why is this so strange? I was even able to take a nap. I, I, if, if a location area, I mean, if the outermost circle that stands for location is blank, it means that I was nowhere in particular, which means I'm usually driving or I'm in a moving vehicle. So I was nowhere in particular during this time, but I was with office people and I was even able to take a nap from 4 to 5 p.m. And then I realized this was the hyperdex circle for the day that we went to the office team building. See, I, I just saw a photo of, of the hyperdex like this. It was this close. And um, I just thought it looked strange because that's not what my hyperdexes look like. I, I have a very predictable life is especially when you talk about locations it's usually just yellow and green and yellow and green it, it hardly ever changes but then again there's this and that's a long stretch of it and it extends beyond uh, midnight so I found that so strange and then there I realized that's one of the great things about the hyperdex system uh, or any radial time mapping system it's because if your color coding system is very efficient just one glance at a hyperdex and you don't have to know exactly you don't even have to have the date on there for you to know exactly what went on in that day so I was quite happy about that <laughs> so um, when Shang Chen contacted me to to propose a uh, uh, us together, working together to create the LM Hyperdex for the life mapping inserts, she used pretty much the same structure. It's really the same structure, except that with the LM Hyperdex, as you can see, there are four layers. The Hyperdex has only three, but the LM Hyperdex has four layers, and the larger LM Hyperdex on the A5 has six layers. But every alternate circle has a very light line. Um, so the first circle from the black one is light, very, very light gray. The second circle is black. The third circle is very, very light gray. And the fourth circle is black. On the larger hyperdex, there are two more circles radiating out. One is also a very, very light gray. And the outermost circle is black. Now the reason for this is that um, you, you can assign, like the way I have assigned locations to the outermost circle and companions to the innermost circle and tasks for the middle circle, you can also assign circles like so. You can assign the outermost circle for one of your children, the, the second circle for another one of your children, the third circle for your husband, and the fourth circle for yourself. And um, if, for example, the two children go to the same school and they're having the same activities, you can combine the two circles together. Let me show you that. Okay, where's my pen? Okay, here. Let's say, for example, your daughter has to be, let me just, uh, see for example that your daughter has to be at school from 10 o'clock in the morning until 12 so you shade that in that's for your daughter and then at 12 o'clock to 3 while you're uh, w while you're I mean at 12 o'clock to 3 you have to be at work Let's just say that the innermost circle is for you. And then um, at 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock to 4, you have to be in school to pick up both of your kids. So there you're going to have to shade this in for your daughter. And then 
do for your son and you could block that out you can block that whole thing out so you know that those are in the same locations because that's your son and your daughter and you have to pick them up at around the same time I hope this is making sense and then let's say that when you get home at 7 you have to do dinner that's for everyone and you can do what Shang Chen did she just blocked this out and then she wrote um, dinner so that's everybody that's you your husband your son and your daughter so that's one good thing about uh, having l very light lines for the circle so that you can combine them like for instance if everybody is going to a movie after dinner you can just you know uh, take another color perhaps let's see what color can I use hmm. let's say that everybody agreed to watch a movie at home after dinner so that's 7.30 to 9. So that's for everybody. And then you can leave be. There. Uh, there are so many ways you can do the hyperdex. You can write things on it. Like you can, for instance, let's say that you wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and then from 5 o'clock to nine you are writing there you can block that off and you can write it you can write that here so um that's just another way that you can possibly do it there are so many ways that you can do it and i've only begun to play around with this even more and i'm having quite a bit of fun like just for fun let me just show you what i did let me show you that clock again from our office team building. This, this is strange hyperdex. And then I copied those colors onto the LM hyperdex and this is how it looks like. It actually looks quite pretty. <laughs> and I can appreciate that some lines are not so heavy like the one in the hyperdex because um, some activities really stretch out for hours and hours like study like sleep and um, it just doesn't really make any sense to have all the lines delineated all at the same time however if you're someone who wakes up at 3 a.m. you will need a line on there and you can really just shade that in you can just draw that line sorry I should use pencil you can just draw that line in like for instance, you wake up at 3 a.m. to do something, you can just draw that line in there. But if you don't need a line, then there is no line to disturb your view of the, the clock. There. Oh, just off the top of my head, I was just thinking of other possible ways that you can use the LM Hyperdex for now um, the LM Hyperdex is actually um, the product of two different clocks it's the product of the Hyperdex which I designed and the LM clock version 2 that Shang Chen designed now the, the, the DIY fish clock version 1 is available as a free download in, Shang's, in Shang Chen's uh, blog but while she was developing version 2 um, she kind of crossed over w the two of us kind of crossed over into each other with this idea and then since uh, apparently I came first with the hyperdex so we decided to just work together on this and I readily agreed when she contacted me and I was I was actually very very flattered that she contacted me because she's quite a she's she's quite a celebrity in the planning community <laughs> and um, I was just little me <laughs> designing pages for myself and uh, for my little Etsy store but then I, I really admired that she was so professional I mean she can just give me a hard time you know like um, demand that I show this documentation that I own the material but she never said that she very nicely asked me um, if I would be willing to work with her to create a clock for the life mapping inserts 
and then I really appreciated that that was very very professional of her because even though she already had the clock in mind when she realized that someone else had created something like it before she did she respected the uh, uh, intellectual property rights of that person because that person actually has creative ownership of the material so she respected that and she went through the right channels she contacted me um, probably after thinking about it for a while so that's one thing that's really really very good about these things you come across people who who are really very creative and who are so professional and uh, and I myself <laughs> I still can't believe that I'm, I'm in this really really big project with her and um, the LM Hyperdex also comes in um, two formats it comes in day on two pages Shang Shen gave me this file because she knows I, I used it on two pages and I've been playing around with it oh, I have wasted so many paper I, my pile is over there I've printed out several things and I tried it out one day and it was a mess and because the day was a mess and um, I was wondering what to use that for the the hexagons and I haven't figured it out yet but there are so many possibilities with this um, don't be disturbed by the grids and the check boxes don't be disturbed by them there are so many things there are a million things that you can do with this layout and with a clock you you really really don't need anything much i mean with this you can actually plan your days and track your days at the same time well Hmm, what else to tell you about this? I think I'll just put up another video when I have played around with the clock a little bit more. I hope I hope I didn't ramble too much. <laughs> I was just so excited to get this video out and I have been playing around with it for like several days already and um, I, I, I'm really struck by how, how pretty how pretty it looks now when I, ha I have to go back to any of my days I just look for the color that I have assigned to the task that I'm looking for so it's really really quite easy I mean uh, those of you who are not yet on any kind of um, radial time tracking tool I suggest that you give it a try you give the LM Hyperdex a try and you give the DIY Fish LM Hyperdex pages a try because it's, it's aside from it being very very efficient it's it's really quite fun you know shading in things you should check out Tracy Reinhardt's photos of her LM Hyperdex because she doesn't just assign she doesn't assign just colors she also assigns patterns some uh, time blocks she colors in and then puts like little um, patterns like she makes a polka dot like that to delineate this task from the other even though they are both blue for instance and it looks really really pretty I mean you don't even have to decorate your pages anymore because <laughs> this looks really pretty so mm, what else to tell you well nothing much I cannot really there's no hard and fast rule to using this LM Hyperdex um, it's really up to you how you want to use it for and it's really up to you um, how you are going to use it to make your days productive and the fun is really in the trying so I suggest you give it a try and for those of you who are already on here please do tell us how you're using your LM Hyperdex because I, I'm going to be so excited to see what your hyperdexes look like and I'm sure Shang Chen is going to be so excited also uh, this is a really fun project so um, I, I suppose that's it for my very first video about the LM hyperdex I will put up another video um, uh, I, I don't know maybe after I have played around with it for a little while I'm gonna be on vacation this week for about four days and the hy my hyperdex is going to look really really strange <laughs> because it's out of the ordinary so let's see what hyperdexes I can come up with so in the meantime show us your hyperdexes we'll be happy to check them out and to talk about it so I suppose that's it for now I should stop <laughs>
that's it and thank you so much for watching until next time bye